Howdy, here is a walkthrough of the new Holochain roadmap. So you can go to www.holochain.org, scroll down a little bit, and you can see a little preview. Click on the full roadmap to go to the roadmap page, and here you can see what we've done to make our work more transparent and visible. What you've got is three columns, released, in progress, and up next. Obviously, the release side has a list of all of the things that we've gotten out the door and uh, what's been done as we've gotten these things out the door. You can go back to the very beginning, Holochain 0.1. You can click on this little expand button and see some of the details of what's been there. Our most recent release is 0.5.3. You can see the work we've done in that particular release. So you can take a look at the history of what we've been up to. The release date is here. One of the other things that's true about our new release map is that every place you hover over a release or an epic, you can actually see the details of that on GitHub, on our project management system that we're using on GitHub. This is part of our trying to actually make our open source project be as visible as possible and digestible as possible. So let's move on to in progress. In progress tells you and gives you a look into what we are currently working on how far along we are on what we're working on and how long we think it'll be until it gets done. So the way we can do that is because we estimate all of our points, all of the, the points of all of the issues and all of the work that we have to get done and we keep track of how much we get done per week. So we have our velocity, which shows that we are at about 20 points per week. So when we have work in progress, we can calculate the time left. So for example, let's look at Holochain 0.6. We have that in progress. Uh, there's uh, currently a total of 236 points. That's uh, up for working. Um, we have some of that when you do the mouse over, you can see that there are points that are to be completed and there are some issues that still need to be estimated. So we're counting them with an estimated number of points that uh, are um, to be completed. In any case, this tells us that at 20 points a week, we're about 48% done, so we're about six weeks out. I will say that we often add or remove issues from particular releases if it looks like it's going to be too long or if it feels like it makes more sense to put it into a different release or something urgent comes up, so we can add that in. In any case, you can also scroll down and you can look at the different epics that we're working on. Some of the epics are complete, some of the epics haven't been started, so zero out of four points for the work that we're gonna do on wind tunnel for this particular epic, or conductor state management, although if you look down here, the work on uh, what we call quality of Holochain Dev's life, this is improvements to our own tooling, and quality of app dev life, this is improvements to what, um, it is like for app devs to use Holochain, so these would be improvements in the HDK, but you can, in any case, you can see the particular progress across all of these little items that we're doing. Uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate now by clicking on a particular epic, you can go and say, oh, okay, what are they going to do in conductor state management? Well, let's click on that, and we can see here are the two items that are up um, for being worked on in the con in conductor state map ma uh, management. And you can see the progress, what's ready, again, the roadmap that they're gonna be part of. Or if you want, you can look at the whole release all at once. You can click on Holochain 0.6 and go ahead and see all of the different uh, releases on the left-hand side, but this has been uh, filtered down just to the uh, 0.6 release and it shows what's been done, who's working on it, what Epic it's part of, what the number of estimated points are uh, for those of you who really like to track what we're up to. And then finally, our roadmap has a up next section and up next is two different types of things that are up next. There's the things we are planning. So when you open this one up, instead of seeing the estimated points, what you see is the progress towards creating estimated estimation. So this is one thing that we do is we do um, what we call um, estimation when we have a uh, sessions where the team goes and looks at how hard the work is to do. We come up with a number of points and this will tell you for the work that's planned for 0 0.7 how much of that work has been estimated and completed in our refinement process so that we can then move it into in progress. And there you can see some of the things that we're looking at doing and the the issues that are there. Again, if you wanted to go and know about any particular issues, you could click on them and go to GitHub and see what's involved in those things in our planning phase. 
And finally, we have the incubating, which is this part we aren't actually estimating yet. We just have an overall idea of what are the um, goals that we have for that particular release. Uh, and they're, they're listed so you have a sense of what we have uh, in mind for our next work coming up. So there you have it. Welcome to our new roadmap where you can see what we can see about how long it's going to take to get stuff done, where we're at, and what's planned. Thanks very much.